I'd like to talk today about how to prevent progression of pre-diabetes to diabetes. The onset of pre-diabetes indicates that a person is at very high risk of progression onto um, diabetes. The typical conversion rate from pre-diabetes to diabetes is about 50% in 5 years. One can slow down or even reverse the progress, uh, progression by uh, adopting certain um, healthy, uh, healthy lifestyle. First thing is to move more. Um, regular physical activity to the tune of about 30 to 45 minutes every day helps bring down the risk of diabetes. One should also try and lose weight if you are um, overweight. Um, reducing weight again helps um, reduce the risk of diabetes. A healthy diet with a, um, with a lot of uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, cutting down on carbohydrates in general, unhealthy, cutting down on unhealthy um, processed foods also helps in this. Maintaining um, a relatively low carb diet or a well balanced diet in the form of um, uh, plenty of vegetables, um, reduced carbohydrate portions um, and plenty of proteins it helps reduce the risk of diabetes. A simple method is to follow the plate method wherein about 50% of your plate should always be vegetables. Only a quarter of the plate can be carbohydrates which should preferably be complex carbohydrates. Another 25% of the plate should be proteins. Regular 45 minutes worth of regular aerobic exercise and weight loss along with a good balanced diet are very helpful in preventing progression of diabetes. Also you should monitor um, your pre-diabetes and visit your doctor at regular intervals to make sure that um, your efforts are successful. I'm here to talk today about diabetes and pregnancy. Diabetes and pregnancy can appear in three contexts. Um, one, type 1 diabetic women who go on to become pregnant. Type 2 diabetic women who go on to become pregnant. Or women who develop diabetes in pregnancy. This is known, known as gestational diabetes. Women with pre-existing uh, diabetes, either type 1 or type 2, should consult with their healthcare provider to optimize their sugars well before pregnancy. Um, becoming pregnant uh, with poorly controlled sugars can have detrimental effects on the fetus um, and is not um, advisable. Uh, a, a diabetic woman's um, HPA1C uh, should be well under control on appropriate medicines or insulin. Um, uh, the appropriate target is to bring the sugars down at least under 6.5% HPA1C. Women sometimes develop diabetes during pregnancy, this is known as gestational diabetes. This usually happens um, in the latter part of the second, second trimester and third trimester. Screening is usually performed at 24 to 28 weeks in the form of a oral glucose tolerance test. And this uh, is then treated either with tablets or with um, insulin. Even though gestational diabetes does resolve after um, uh, delivery, uh, the event does put women at higher risk of eventually developing um, type 2 diabetes. Therefore, they should um, put in practices uh, to try and avoid diabetes uh, in the future, even though the sugars after delivery have become normal. I'm talking about um, hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is when the person's blood sugar, from a diabetic patient's blood sugar drops below the 70 mg per deciliter. Um, I'd like to discuss how we go about treating hypoglycemia. So if you monitor your blood sugar and you find that it's less than 70 um, mg per deciliter or if you're having symptoms of hypoglycemia, as in um, the typical symptoms would be sweating, shaky, uh, feeling dizziness, lightheadedness, extreme hunger, uh, extreme weakness, um, so on. So if you were to experience these symptoms, if you have a glucometer, please do check. Um, and if the reading is uh, less than 70, you need to treat it as hypoglycemia. Uh, if you do not have access to a glucometer, assume that it is hypoglycemia and go ahead and treat it. So correction of hypoglycemia involves um, taking about 15 grams of carbohydrate. It's best taken as simple um, sugar, uh, about three teaspoons of sugar, or about um, 100 to 150 ml of any uh, juice, not the diet drinks. 
um, or uh, three to four um, glucose tablets. Having taken uh, this amount of sugar, one should wait for 10 to 15 minutes uh, for resolution of symptoms. If in 15 minutes the symptoms have not yet resolved, then you should pro uh, proceed to repeat this process until the sugars are stable. If a person is unconscious or not in a position to um, swallow, uh, do not try and put things in their mouth. Please rush, uh, rush them to the nearest hospital.